Welcome back to Queens on Queens. I am your host, Nate Clark, along with my co-host, Shayna B. Hello. How have you been? Oh my gosh. Well, obviously I sound like I'm, I'm new to weather a little bit. That's why I have a hose in my mouth, so you have to excuse me. I'm trying to get to shake this ailment I got going on because I can't really go on my trip, so I'm excited. Where are you going? I don't know yet. It's a surprise. I keep asking you. I keep hoping you're going to flip up and say something. I still don't know. So I'll <laughs> definitely give you a call on Friday and let you know where I'm going. You don't have to call me. It's okay. Okay, I'll send you a text. Okay, I'll check my phone when I feel like it. Don't do that. <laughs> don't, 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 don't put me out. <laughs> How have you been? Oh, uh, um, not the same with you. I've been having a little bit of a health problem, but I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow. So hopefully, I get some answers about what's going on before I just be telling people shit. Good, good, good. I'm glad. I'm glad. Yeah, I know. Like we have a lot to catch up on. I feel like we do, but we did have a session last week. But I know there's a lot that we have to catch up on. I know for sure you can speak about Miami, but I haven't watched Miami. I did not watch Miami last week. So. Well, that's okay. Um, <laughs> well, you know, I get very frustrated with Miami, but I watch it mostly for this show and also just out of habit and right. hopes that it gets better. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so, too. Um I know they recently, you said they went on a trip, or they've gone on a trip. Yes? They are there now. They're in Palm Springs. Palm Springs, right. So I definitely got to catch up. I didn't get to finish all of Salt Lake today at work. You got that one come over and talk, 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 talk. So I didn't get to finish. We're not going to talk about that. We're not going to talk about that. We're not going to talk about Salt Lake? I want Salt Lake. Oh, okay. I thought you was like, no. I'm like, where, where, where? No, but did you just say you didn't finish it? I did not finish it. They are currently at dinner dressed as pirates. Oh, uh, I don't think I have okay. that. I know it can. I started watching it on the way home, but you know, my boo called me, so he was cupcaking. Oh so, God! Well, you watched most of it. I did. So we can't talk was, about it, but we can. Did something juicy happen? I know that um, Heather, was it Heather? Yeah. Heather and Monica were about to bump heads when when they just got into the conversation about when's the last time you had sex. And so, yeah. Okay. So, I okay, and you did watch Potomac, Married to Madison, I, I and Beverly okay. Hills. So, okay. where yeah. where do we start? Well, let's start with Miami. Okay. I'll catch you at the speed on there. And then we'll move yeah, to we Salt Lake. And then go of the other shows. Got it. Let's do it. Let's do it. So, what you missed on Miami, basically they pick up where they left off at the um the opera night with Julia Uh and the fuck cancer party and all that. Yes. Julia did her performance. Uh And you know, she's not an opera singer. Correct. So it's not like she was great. But given that she has no training, she did really good. She did better than I ever could. Right. It's the thought that she she did better than I ever could. Martina was very touched. She loved it. It was so sweet to see her watching her. I loved it. Yeah, it was so sweet. And then Julia did explain to her that she missed um, Martina's last treatment because of that. And she couldn't tell her. Correct. And Martina completely understood. But yeah. they're always good there. Good. Now all to the bullshit. Oh, man. Got to be Larsa. Yes. So, oh. I'm just exhausted to thinking about it. <laughs> okay. So, Gertie confronts Larsa in front of everyone mm-hmm. for telling everyone about her cancer diagnosis when she asked her not to. Now, Larsa. They're still at the party. Correct. Yes. Yes. All right. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. So, Larsa and Ferris tries to lie and says that she didn't know it was a secret. 
Gertie calls her out and it's like, yes, you did, because you even made the joke about going to TMZ. So then Larsa then is like, bro, you were going to tell everyone anyway. I told them so they can rally around you. Uh, you're, she actually said, you're welcome. Uh, like, she made it seem like she was doing Gertie a favor. a favor. I don't like that. I'm just... And then Lisa, after, you know, Cordy is getting, excuse me, sorry, understandably upset, Lisa tries to defend Larsa to her. And Cordy was like, Lisa, if Larsa had said for truth about your divorce that you didn't want anybody else knowing yet, you would not like that. Not at all. And it's just, it ended up with Cordy being upset and was like, you know what, I'm going to leave. So Cordy and Russell leave the party. She just rings by um, Julia. Julia's like, don't apologize for anything. You're good. We'll talk. Like, you're okay. Like, you don't have to apologize for nothing. Yeah. But what I did not like about that scene, obviously, Larsa. Right. Number one. Also, do you remember um, last season when Lisa first told the group that she was, that Lena was leaving her for another woman? Yes, they were on a trip, correct? Yes. Yes. And you remember how everyone rallied around her and was like loving on her and supporting her and talking about all that? I don't feel like Gertie got that. She did not. I I believe that. Hmm. I believe that. She didn't get the opportunity to tell everybody and, and to get that back like Lisa got. Right. Like, I feel that in that moment where her going at Larsa, the group should have been like, Larsa, back down, you were small for this. Whether your intentions were good or not, it was not okay. And they should have rallied around Gertie the same way they did Lisa. So the fact that they did not, I was feeling it. So Lisa was on Larsa's side. Who else? Um, Nicole did speak up. And tried to tell Larsa, like, you know, she should have, she wanted to tell the group in her own way on her own time. Adriana did defend Gertie in her confessional, though. But I feel like overall, the group was not, most of them were mute. Like, nobody was really speaking on Gertie's behalf. Right. They were just watching. So, Mm -hmm. I feel like she should have got more support than what she got. And that's it. Mm Mm-hmm. Cause like I I was distinctly made Larsa making a joke, making it seem like it was nothing, you know. And this is so, you know, she had already told you at the lunch. Like I'm telling you, don't tell anybody. She already told you what she did and didn't want you to do, and you just turn around and did whatever you want to do anyway. Cause obviously you don't have nothing really going on that no one really cares about. I should got us Marcus again. Girl. So. They planned that our girl trip to Palm Spring right just before they left, and Lisa was inviting everybody to go. Larsa going to have to not to ask her if she could bring Marcus. No, it's a girl trip. What? They're so codependent, it's disturbing. It's very disturbing. It's a problem. Mm -hmm. It's a big problem. Then they're going to Palm Springs. They're staying in a mansion and that's earned by, I think, Lisa's free. Okay. That's only five bedrooms. You know, there's eight women on the show. So they're they're going to have to pair her up. Yeah. Right. Um, Julia asked Alexia to room with her because they're starting a new friendship. They're really getting along. They're really liking each other. And Alexia's like, oh, I don't know. I have to ask Todd and see what he thinks. Like, okay. Maybe that's a joke. So because they go shopping together. Uh-huh. Uh, Julia brings it up again, and then let's just like, oh, I don't know, I haven't asked Todd yet, or Marisol. What? That's her. Yeah. And then on the car ride there, Julia brings it up, like, are we room together or not? And let's just like, oh, I'm going to end up with um, Marisol. And there was, I think there was another time where she did say again that she needed to check with Todd. But, so... Julia gets there and she's talking to Adriana because they're going to end up running together now. 
Uh-huh. And she's telling Adriana, like, yeah, I had asked Alexia to run with me. And to Adriana's credit, Adriana's like, yeah, that's fine. Like, you be friends with who you want to be, right? Like, she wasn't being possessive like we know her to be. To be correct. Really cool about it. Uh-huh. Um, and then Julia told her what Alexia kept saying about how she kept having a check with Todd. And she feels like Julia and Adriana both feel like Alexia was saying that because Julia being a lesbian. Right, but that lady don't want you. She's right. full of Julia's shame. happily married to Martina. Mm-hmm. Okay. So it goes against it goes with that stigma of like gay people being hypersexualized and like maybe she's gonna try we don't we don't look at everybody like, Oh, I want you, oh, I want you. It's not like that. It's not like right. that. Right. God. So I don't hate to that. Alexia's defense. To Alexia's defense, she did not say that was the reason. And we don't actually know what the reason is because they haven't had the conversation yet. Right. So well, I, I do want to give her, I do want to give her the benefit of the doubt and uh-huh. hear her side before we run with that story, you know? Correct. Gotcha. Well, I'm hoping as that. As long as I've seen her, I'd hope not either, but as long as I've known Alexia on the show, right. she doesn't give me a homophobe at all. Right. So then, do we think it's Ty then that has the, may have issues? Like, I don't understand. Like, why do you need to get permission? Or ask if it's okay to run with somebody that you know, you know, for a while. Like, mm-hmm. I don't understand. Like, what is it's If it, Ty seems controlling. Maybe. I don't, I don't know. Maybe don't it's know. Ty. Maybe she didn't want to room with her to begin with, but with the Shrine like five some reason to let her down easy. So that they can continue having a friendship. That then just say it. that. Then say yeah, that. but I don't know. We just have to wait and see. Okay. Well, uh, that's tomorrow. So I'm going to catch up with the backtrack. Catch up for tomorrow. I, I mean, and watch tomorrow's episode. So I got a lot to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So yes. Yeah. Going over to Utah. Let's go to Utah. I know you tell most of the episode. Yeah, just tell me. I watch it though, but just tell me what happens after they started that fussing about you're I'm you're more single than I am, and no, I'm not. I'm single. She's like, "Well, you're the one going through a divorce. That doesn't mean I can't have sex with whoever I want to." I'm like, oh, "Okay, sir." <laughs> so I mean, I'll, if you're legally separated, in my eyes, you are single. Correct. Yes. Like. It's just a matter of paperwork and getting shit, That's it. you know, settled. That's Correct. it. Like, you're not, you may be legally married, but I don't feel like you're actually married. Right, because you have to be separated for a certain amount of time to be, to, to, to do divorce papers. So I, I feel once we are separated, we not married no more. It's over. Right. Right. So, yeah. But, um... With Heather and Monica, you know, Monica had said that her asked Heather that her daughter was having sex and Heather yeah. didn't want to talk about that. And I felt like that was understandable. Even though her I daughter is it. grown, <laughs> you don't want to be talking about your child having sex. Right. Yeah. Especially with people who don't even like know her like that. Correct. I'm not going to go into my personal life so you can dig and poke. I'm not. And that's my daughter's life. I don't know. I don't want to know. Right. So, yeah. I can understand why I have to. That's that. Yeah. Um, The part you did not see was at the end. Uh Everybody got on Meredith's ass. Now, did they bring up the whole DMs and all of this, the mafia and all that stuff? Oh, the juicy stuff. Who bought it up first? That's what I want to know. So, after Heather and Monica had their argument, it got very quiet at the table. Nobody was talking. Uh-huh. Whitney was like, we shouldn't play games in this group. <laughs> right. Because that always leads to a fight. Something bad, so, right. Right. So then Angie was like, well, let's get the heat off you two for a moment. And I want to direct something towards Meredith. And so Angie brought it up. 
and Angie got heated. I believe it. Mm -hmm. I believe that because that Lisa Lisa popped off and she got heated too. Oh, on Meredith, right? On Meredith, yes. Okay. Uh Because Meredith is just fitting the coolest of cucumber, unbothered. Like, I did not have these conversations. I never say anything about you being in the mafia. I did not do this. Like, let me tell you something. I don't know if you know this. Meredith has a history of being a lawyer. She went to law school. She used to be a lawyer. So she's very careful about the words she Uh shoots. And so I noticed that when she was saying she was denying things and saying things that technically were true. But you yeah. know what the fuck they're trying to say. Like, <laughs> right. Like, I didn't say that. That's not what I said. That's not what happened. Clearly, you said all of this stuff, lady. And so like, Monica cleared it all up. And Monica said, we did have these conversations. You did call me and say, hey, I got the DM. Did you get it? And so on and so forth. And right. so the whole group is just sick of Meredith's shit. And they're all like jumping down her butt, like, stop this bullshit. Like, you've uh-huh. done this before in the past. Like, we all are on to you. Cut it out. That part. Yo, that's crazy. Because Monica was like, she was like, she called me. She was like, did you get the DM? She was like, what DMs? And she was like, all of a sudden, she just started getting DM after DM after DM. She was like, yeah, the only person that could have been was Meredith. Who else? Meredith, yeah. Because think about it. This is Monica's first season. You've right. never seen this lady before. So why, during the midst of filming, before we even know they're having a new cast member, with someone randomly saying her dirt on AGK? Right. That's that lady. That lady. It's Meredith. Lady. And, and why, if you got a DM with all this shit in it, why would you automatically assume that the person you were speaking to the night before would get those exact same DMs. Right. That's crazy. That's, I, as the oddest, like, that's a 99.9% chance that ever, ever. It was you sending them. Right. Like, they're being messy. Mm-hmm. And she just said, And back, I like, love Meredith. Yeah. You know, I love Meredith, but if you're guilty, you're guilty. You were all for this one. She were all. Mm-hmm. So, then yes. Lisa, uh, go ahead. No, no, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, uh, Lisa told her that if this shit keep happening, she's going to have her cybersecurity team look into it, and she's going to tell them to go as far as they need to go to find truth on who was behind it. And you know what? I see Lisa possibly doing it without even having to be that on that far. I think she's going to mm. do it with her. And I would, too. She might. I, I hope so. Oh, that'd be so like crazy. when I tell you, them ladies were fed up. Like they were fed up. Yeah, I would be too. I would be too. You just mail it and be nasty and just sit back like, ah, no, I don't have that, man. And her voice, oh, she just drags when she talks. <laughs> just, hey, like ladies, stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> This shit got to go because I'm sick of this. I hope you drink so better before your shrimp. I will. I've been taking a lot of different things and drink, trying to drink one and stop drinking all these Pepsis. Oh, God. It's an addiction. It is wild. I cannot stop drinking the things. I got to stop, though. But, anyways, that's about me. Mm-hmm. That's- so, earlier, Go ahead. earlier in the episode, did you catch? Where um, Monica's family said they didn't want to see her no more. That hurt. And she had that breakdown. That hurt my feelings. I was like, that's wild. Like, you are in a whole nother place. And your mom has this much control over what's happening over here. If that's the case. If that's the case. Let me say that. If that's the case. What? Because I don't know. Oh, but my heart hurt. Like, I I did cry. I couldn't cry. I, I cried when I watched it. I was like, damn, it's like, that's fucked up. 
this front. She hasn't seen these people for almost all of her life. And now she's there getting the opportunity to see them. And now she can't. Like, when she was like, I have, I'm alone. I have no family. I know she has her daughters, but like, besides your kids and your grandmother, there's no one else for her to lean on at all. Like, she doesn't have a relationship with her. You know, the old in laws, which I can understand, they're probably not having that relationship with her because of the things that have happened in the past. I understand right. that. But not a good relationship with your mom. And then you try to reconnect with more family. And then she just comes and ruins all of that for you. Like she was got off the bus, bawling, crying. She lost her damn shoes. Mm-hmm. But that, that shit was wild. It really, she was having a good day until that happened yeah. right there. She was having yeah. a good day. And that day. I smell. Hold up. I smell terrible. Like I want to know I, what she said to these people. To make them not want to see her. I know. Not only to not want to see her, but to ignore her on the phone, too. And text messages, phone calls, nothing. Mm -hmm. I just, well, she can't even just show up because she doesn't really know where they are. In a sense, I guess. she, She knows where they are. But she has not seen them in 30 years. So you can't just show up at my doorstep. Show up at my doorstep. Especially if they tell you don't come. I just like if it's a cousin, like if it's a relative that you see like once a week, and if they don't come over, I can kind of see y'all having a relationship close enough to where you can still pop up and be like, no, let's hash it out. Right, but this is like years of no relationship. Yeah. This is decades of not really having a close relationship. Mm-hmm. So it, you, they're probably called a cops in your ass. You can like, just do that. And they would, and she'd be stuck over there in Bermuda. But I want to know what her was. Like, I would love to know what her mom said to these people to make them not want to see her. I want confirmation that her that mom did something. Because in her confessionals, Monica kept saying, I think my mom right, did she something. Didn't say, she didn't say for sure she knew. She said, I think my mm-hmm. mom did. So what was said, what was done for this to occur? That's, that's, that's the big true. question. And that's what I want. I really want to know. Regardless of what happened. It's still a it's still an effed up situation. My heart's still broke because I under, like I can relate to her feelings of loneliness and isolation. Right. And I know how that can lead you to have some very self destructive behavior. So I'm curious to know if I just want to know what's going to happen with her in this cast that's going to go so wrong that nobody wants to fuck with her. Yeah. Now, that's really what I'm dying to see. Like, what did she do or say that was so terrible? To make her just part ways with her. Like, I don't, this reunion, I'm really looking forward to the reunion and finding out, going hopefully more in depth of the situation if they talk about it, which they probably will hit on it a little bit. But I would really like to know what's actually Heck then. And because I think seeing everyone rally around her when this happened, especially Lisa Barlow, like you know they had that tight. Yeah. And I'm like, so- what what could have gone wrong? I guess we just gonna have to wait and see and find out what happened. Cause I know we seen the clips and I'm not sure if it's gonna be on the next episode of Heather on the phone talking to somebody. Um, if it does happen next week, they didn't show it in the preview. They didn't show it in the club, then it might not. I don't know when it's going to be because this is a long trip. And when is the reunion supposed to be? Do you know yet? No. Yeah. Okay. But they did, they released the feeding chart and they released the, um, their looks. the photos of their dresses. So it has to be soon because they're not going right. to show that like two months ahead of time. You know? Right. I say it's probably going to be sometime next month. Excuse me. Yep. That I'm sounds about right. It has to be sometime in January. Uh-huh. Because yeah. like you said, the show it looks now, it's coming soon. Because they're not going to release yeah. this far in advance. They never do that. Never. Right. Well, yes. taking a little bit of a break from all this show talk, I got some news. 
Atlanta over on Red House Island of Atlanta, Kenya Moore is finally officially legally divorced. Woo, good God. How long was that going on? That's been going on for some years. Three years. Oh, good Lord. Yeah. Finally. 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 It's all over. I know she had. She got to be. I, mean, I don't know. It's on the rooftop somewhere. I don't know details of the settlement, but I know it's right. finally over. Just know it's finally over. Like, what do you know? What the holdup was from them finalizing the divorce? Was it money? Was it, uh, you know, things to do with their child that they have together? I think it involves her daughter, Brooklyn. <laughs> Excuse me. Because I do remember in an interview that was asking her about it, and she was like, it's not about money, because she would pay him whatever she needed to pay him to go away. I think it has something to do with the child. Baby girl. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm so happy that it's over. I still haven't seen anything pop up yet pertaining to this, but I know I'm probably going to see it now, because my phone will be listening to me. So I know I'm going to see some <laughs> TikTok reels or something on my social media about Kenya. I know I will. Mm -hmm. Yes. I have an idea. What's up? It may not be smart for me to say this, but I think that Bravo should give Kenya a spinoff dating show because Kenya has a bad history with men. She can't pick them by herself no more. <laughs> she ain't got no good one. I'm about to ban her from trying to find her own man. I think that Bravo <laughs> that, give her very interesting. A spin-off dating show with a professional, well-established matchmaker. Right. And then on each episode, as she go through these uh, potential matches and everything, they should bring on one Bravo celebrity friend of hers to help her make a decision. Not just from Atlanta, but from the other cities too. Like she's friends with Teresa, New Jersey, yeah, Jane and Beverly Hills. Uh -huh. Like bring in all the other so ones. Sprinkle from everywhere else instead of Atlanta. Don't don't give me no way yeah. from it. Give it somebody outside with a different eye. Yes. That idea. I think that would be a good shot. I would watch it. Now, if NBC Universal get a hold of this and they make this show. They better give me a little bit of credit. Yep, because you bought it up. <laughs> Run me my shank. <laughs> right. Run me my money. Excuse me. So mm -hmm. sorry, y'all. Y'all have I'm to sorry. forgive me. Try to fight through this. But yes. It's that, it's that season. Man. It, it, it's terrible. Uh, it's flu season, pneumonia season. Allergies switching over, like, well, Lord have mercy. Jesus help me. But I'm going to be all Frank right. Frank still around. Oh, Lord, look at it. You see this shit? Your hand don't want to have right tonight. <laughs> I just want everybody to know I did not cut my hair. I was getting that all week. You cut your hair? Did you cut your hair? I'm like, no, I didn't cut my hair. It's just wrapped around each other. See, it's like being two knots. So when I take it out, it's going to be all curly. By the time you guys see me next Wednesday, the curls will probably go. Okay. Might be a little bump. Okay. That's it. But anyways. Enough, enough about you, your hair. Uh -huh. Don't cut me off like that. But anyways, yes. Moving on. So let's. You know, I'm only jealous because I ain't got no hair. It's all right. If I decide to cut it off, we're going to glue it to your head. Okay. But I think you'd rather do the white, the wavy. Hair, you know, I want to have like some long hair. Well, I don't know because I wore a wig on Halloween because you know, I dressed up as Beyonce. That's yeah. That wig got on my fucking nerves. I don't know how y'all do with having long hair because I, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't not. know. It's a lot because my hair. I kept doing this the whole time. Let me tell you what happened to me one night. I got in my car and my hair got stuck in the car door when I closed it. And I, mm -hmm. I pulled, I said, oh, my God. I had to open the door to put my hair out. So, yeah, my hair is really long. It's for me to get it stuck in the damn door, okay? Yes. And mm -hmm. it's crazy. But I, I love was going to say something. I'm not even going to get you mad tonight. 
What would you like to say, babe? How about I say, or you that short? <laughs> okay, you got jokes tonight. All right, we'll let that ride. It might be a combination of both. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> so, what are we hitting up now? We're going to Potomac. We're going to go to Mary to Madison. Um, oh, you know what? Beverly Hills. Beverly Hills. Yes, 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 yes. Tiny Wayne Sutton was leaving that dinner and she Is was just that, staring at the driver. The <laughs> Boy, yo, when I tell you everybody was on the cloud level last that night that they left, and they go Denise with the upside down jacket. Listen, now I know they was all having edibles at that dinner. Denise was on something else. That was not, and I didn't know marijuana when I see marijuana. That wasn't was marijuana. Girl, I think we, a little bit, because she was slurring her words. You can't understand nothing. She, you know what I'm talking about. She was you not leaking shams. I'm like, what did she say? And damn Dorit, just sitting over there watching. And that, her facial expressions was having me rolling. I'm like, Dorit is just in her own world watching them, trying to figure out what the heck she's talking about. Don't nobody know what this lady talking about. Nobody knew what she was talking about. She don't know what she was talking about. was like, what are you talking about? Like, I don't understand. What? Now, I yeah. knew what she was talking you about. Knew. I didn't know because I'm just yeah. now kind of watching the show. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. I knew what she was trying to say, but her attempts to say it was well, very messed up. Since we're trying to speak in Morris code, we just need you to be direct. We don't do Morris right. code. Oh, just talk. You know what? She did say she had a bad cold. Maybe what she was on was like a combination it. of the medicine and the alcohol. And that could be a possibility as well. You so know, you can't. People, all cold medicine ain't good to be drinking with. I don't think medicine is good to be drinking with. Well, I don't know. I don't read the fine print on the medicine bottles. So. I'm just kidding. They I'm all say that. I'm kidding. I know they you are. You sure no, they don't? don't. The kitty medicine, of course, don't say that because they can't drink out. Well, I don't take kitty medicine. Moving on. Anyways. Okay. Sutton versus Kyle. What are your thoughts? You know, I may have to look back at their relationship prior to what is going on right now for me to understand because right now I remember when Kyle went over to Sutton's house just to have a conversation and try to figure out like what's going on in a sense and Sutton kept cutting her off and Kyle yelled at her and I couldn't understand Kyle's frustration you're not letting me talk you're not letting me get my point across of course I'm going to yell at you and I'm going to leave and for me it was I wasn't thinking about my sister I wasn't thinking about going to my household when I was fussing at you at that time. I'm just trying to figure out what's wrong with you. Mm-hmm. And now Kyle's explaining why she doesn't drink alcohol because she's going to feel depressed the next day and whatnot. And then just letting it be at that. Mm-hmm. And like we all know, it's probably it's other things going on in her life that she don't want to talk about at all. With her marriage. And then this lady she's been gallivanting around getting tattoos and talking to FaceTime. So, you know, I don't know where their relationship is gonna go from here. I don't even I don't know where it's gonna go. If there's anything mm-hmm. left to salvage between the two of them. I feel like Sutton is pushing and pushing and pushing and Kyle is not giving what Sutton wants to hear. Mm-hmm. In a sense. And I'm so Kyle just making I want to say she's, let me not say she's making up the whole not drinking thing because some people do know what drinking does to them. And Kyle doesn't want to be that person anymore. And Ev, all of them miss that Kyle. But Kyle's not that old Kyle anymore. And you can't, she doesn't want to be that person. Mm-hmm. She wants, she's trying to have clarity of what's going on around her, being in control of what's going on around her and herself. Because alcohol doesn't allow you to be in control of anything. You just, or the floor door splits at a party. 
So it's it's an ugly situation on both parts. Like I said, I'm still trying to understand it and make sense of what they had prior to this right here. It's unfortunate. Well, I'm I'm torn with Kyle. Because on one hand, I understand her, but on the other hand, she's been a hypocrite. So she did mention, I think she mentioned once on the show or on social media somewhere that in addition to her having marital problems with her husband, one of her best friends had committed suicide. And that was what led to her stop drinking and working out and those types of things. So I know at the beginning of the season when they did that whole reflection with the lady, um, mm -hmm. she did express that things were going on in her marriage. And But I cannot remember if I heard the part about the friend committed suicide. I think I already have missed that. So, yeah. That's what I, mean. I don't remember if it was on the show or if it was on social media, but she did say that she had a friend that committed suicide. Okay. So I do think that that is a factor in her not drinking and getting healthier and making a lot of extreme changes. Right. Because that can jar you. Yeah. Um, so... Much like when we discussed Whitney grieving her friend dying of cancer and everything, right. I can't judge how Kyle grieves and, you know, her behavior and everything. Everybody grieves differently. Right. However, it's still, this is where my conflict comes in with her. Because even with all of that, I still feel like she is such a hypocrite because she wants everyone to respect her feelings and respect what she says and leave her alone and back up off her case and not push her about things. But any time it's any of the rest of the women going through shit, she is the one pushing. You right. have to be honest. You have to be open and oh, honest. Okay. Oh, you have okay. to just okay. say it. Right. She is the Sutton to everybody else. But right. now that Sutton is doing the same shit to her, it's, that's it's a huge issue. Around. It's a flip around. And, and that part, yeah, right. it's not fair. Because I think there's it's not a... not fair. I'm trying to think of what I just watched. They were saying the same thing. It's like you poking and prodding and trying to tell everybody, wanting to be in everybody else's business. Damn Potomac. Potomac. When I think it, they were discussing Robin trying to be in everybody else's situation. Now it's her mm -hmm. turn. She has her own situation. She don't want to talk about it. I was like, you can't be... You can't be like well, that. Well, let's switch over to Potomac then. That's a good little thing, right? Do it. Yeah. Because Robin spent years on this show pushing up against Karen about what's going on with Karen and trying to make her tell her business and everything and doing an artist of being Giselle's little lackey and her little bullshit attacks on everybody else's business and stuff. And now that it's Robin's turn, she want to break down and cry and play victim. Right. And had the audacity to say that she ain't did nothing to nobody. Like, girl. If if Deflection had a picture next to it, it would be hers. Mm -hmm. It would definitely be hers. Because now it's, I'm the villain. She hooping and hollering, yelling at people. She crying. Like, just tell the truth. We everybody mm -hmm. around you sees what's going on and knows what's going on, but you acting real oblivious to like yourself. Like stop, up. stop trying to be so tough. Sometimes you may need to let that guard up and and talk, but she don't want to do. Even with Giselle, she don't do. That. She says she. I don't want to say. I don't want to say she's being oblivious. I just want her to acknowledge that she's receiving the same treatment that she has given other people in this group. And On stop that acting part. like she's so innocent. That's On what that I need part, from yes. her. On that part, yes. But she be acting real when it comes to her marriage, her husband. Her oh, dumb as hell when it comes to her husband, because I'll be dating I just don't, I don't. Hey, girl. I wish my fiance would act the way Juan Dixon is acting towards Broadway. You know how quick I would. Let me tell you something. 
I will move out of this house and sleep in my car until I get on my own two feet before I ever let a man look, make me look as dumb as hell like wine is making Robin. He's straight. And I put that on my mama. And then when she was like, he he clears out his phone all the time. Red flag. Red flag. Since that didn't sound good coming out your mouth at all. You know that. Right? No. Who does Who that? How real? That didn't make him sound like his, he was justifying his case at all. It just made it a lot worse. No. It a, lot a lot worse. worse. Oh, my God. Woo. Well, I'm so glad, Jeez. though. So glad. It, it kind of cut to the neck and, and Dr. Wendy stuff off. I was so mm. happy. I'm like, God, you know what? Right? I'm glad that. So when Mia made the joke, uh, when I saw the black bird say, oh, that ain't your mama, is it? It ain't your mama. No. It was a little funny. But when Wendy was vulnerable, and shared why she's so sensitive about talking about her mama. And I'm glad I understood she did that. it. I'm glad she did that because it made everything make a lot more sense. For sense. Uh huh. And also, I have to give Mia her props because, you know, her and Mia don't get along. Mia could have kept, you know, fucking with her. Kept but she was like, home. you know what? I understand. Okay. I'm going to leave that yeah. whole situation alone. Right. She said, I'm going to leave And I like alone. that. No. Right. And she respected. And I'm glad mm-hmm. that she, Wendy was able to to voice that out, so people would know. Like, don't talk about my mom. Do not, because mm-hmm. that's red for me. I go, not oh, only don't talk about my mama, but this is why you can't talk about my mama because right. of everything she has done. And who so. the people that the person that really need to hear that was not there at that time, mm-hmm. you know and. I feel that yeah. that person needs to hear that as well. So. But, you know, I mean, let's be real. Like, if somebody is attacking you and your family, you don't want to be vulnerable with them. You want to come out with your guns blazing and hit them with yeah. something. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I kind of see why she wouldn't say that to her. Maybe. But you're right in that she did that if something she needs to hear so that she could understand yeah. as well. And she can still get the guns blazing. Cause bitch, yeah. I whoop your ass over my mom. Don't fuck with me. So you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. Oh, Shana, you said the B word. I did say the B word. You do say it. You said, "Bitch, I whoop your ass over my mom." <laughs> oh my god! Told you you was going to say it. Stop me. Okay. And that was, and I didn't even have nothing to do with that. That was just your pure emotion. Oh, okay. Listen, okay. I think me and whoever be listening or watching our show know now not to mess with your mama. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. No, sure, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, okay. I think. Now they're going to the bingo, and I think that was it. That one, so mm-hmm. I think that was it. I've watched all of that, and then I got on to my girls in Atlanta. There, it's about to go. So we got a little bit of time left. Let's spend that. I like they've been married to medicine for last, right? Because we got somebody. It's a good note. A good note to end on. So I, I was happy and a little nervous that Toya. Invited, invited, but like kind of not invited. Quad on this trip, mm-hmm. and I'm, I'm, I'm kind of happy, glad she did in a sense, in a way, I guess. I mean, mm-hmm. either the show go go on with or without. I just say that. Um, so she did show up, but her and Phaedra didn't come at the same time. And Phaedra was like, "No, I thought my flight was later." And then she was going on with all these different stories about. <laughs> Why they didn't take the same flight, and then all of a sudden it comes out she switched flights because she didn't want to fly with Quad. Now I don't know what the falling out between Quad and Phaedra were, but from what I have summed up from someone else is that they feel that every time Phaedra break Quad around, nothing ever good would come out of it, and so she kind of mm-hmm. just stopped. Um, because honestly, Quad has not really apologized 
for her actions and falling out with everybody at all. Um, mm -hmm. So I don't know what happened. I would love to know why they didn't ride together in the same flight, but you know. That's what it was. It's that Major said she wasn't going to bring quiet about it anymore because heavily. she was disappointed. Mm -hmm. so she was disappointed right? by how that uh, the resurrection the resurrection happened. Went. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that yeah. she didn't want to do it no more. So yeah, I understand. Because heavily, so what did she think? Out, right? No, no. Okay, so let's just get into it because really. The biggest thing that happened was the end of the episode where everybody was dinner. firing at quad. Correct. Oh, yeah, I knew. Yeah, I got hot. So, <laughs> I'm warm now, honey. I see that. We talking about our girls. Okay. So, watching the episode, it looks like quad is innocent. It looks like she came in very humble, wanting to be in a good space. And the, the group was being a bunch of mean girls wanting to ice her out. That's what it looks like watching the episode. But However, that's, that's, not, that's not, not the case. case. That's not the case. Because y'all know, I love to watch Heavenly's on YouTube channel and she'd be telling everything. Mm -hmm. That girl does not hold yeah, water. She would tell it and everything. Tell it. She tell it. And there's a lot of things about Heavenly. But one thing for sure is Hamlet does not tell a lie. Right. She's going to tell the truth. She's going to tell the truth. So I believe yep. everything she said. So Hamlet explained that this was a bad edit job on them because the reason they were coming at Quad so hard is because Quad basically gave all of them her ass to kiss. And with saying, basically, she don't give a fuck about them. She got to get her shack and go home. Like but they didn't the show all of that. Her. She don't talk to them, no nothing. Like the other ladies, Simone, Jackie, Heavily, and Toya, mm. they get together every now and then, and, and they converse with each other. But Quad does not. Quad well, don't, don't care about them. Quad well, does not care about no no. She nope. just, she only does Careful. that when the show was on to get her check and then when the show stopped filming is she don't care and it's not them not reaching out to her either she really like lets them know straight up that they not her friends in real life right so it's i, I see their frustration was like well if you don't care about us you don't think that we're really friends you ain't got no emotional attachment status you think you're better than us why are you here right uh, Why are we faking? So that's the part where the average viewer would miss if they just watched that episode. Right. They would, because I was like, now I understand. Now I understand. Yeah. First, I was like, why are they acting like this? Like, I don't understand, but now I kind of mm -hmm. see it. I kind of see it. And so, go to like, Heavenly's YouTube channel because she has a lot more. She has a lot more to say. She has a lot explains more. everyone's behavior. Oh, but it's a deep dive into Pedra and Dr. G and her wanted four thousand dollars uh you know for an allowance. And she he mm -hmm. said no. So, you know, they dug into that. They I mean they dug it's into it. that portion right there. So yeah. Yeah. But Allegedly, next week is Quad's last episode, and she's not going to be off for the rest of the season. I was wondering if she was going to be uh, continuing on. So this is it. We it's won't it. see her. Okay. That's what we're being told. Okay. Um, it's been said that her contract... Oh, that's another thing, too, is that she was cussing out production, being very unprofessional with production, showing up three, four hours late to a scene and it's acting like it's not a priority to her at all. That's another reason why projection is Therefore, we don't need you. Right. So they were, gave her a contract for four episodes, but in the final cut, they ended up giving her eight. So they gave her twice the many that they said they were going to give her. Right. And plus they gave her this edit. So I feel like 
the network probably does want to keep her on or at least have the option to bring her back next season or something. Right. So they're trying not to completely dog her out. Well, right. Cut her off that, all the way. That, that's what that I'm here. getting from this. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what we're, I don't know what's going to happen next season. You know, before they started this season, you know, there was said that she didn't know that Dr. G and his new, you know, lady was going to be on here. I'm just like, okay, you really didn't know? Are you sure you really didn't know? They don't talk about it. I believe her. I believe that she did not know. I believe that that's probably why. And she spoke disrespectfully to them. However, I think that it's not just this contract negotiation. I think they're looking at overall, like you're always late. You always don't care about the show. You always don't care about the cast or whatever. And if like that's just the icing on the cake. Like, right. we have to, you and I have the same boss. If... She does something that I don't like. I can't just go to her and talk any kind of way, getting kind of crazy to her and right. think everything's going to go on. Like, there's a way you communicate things. And so, from what I'm hearing, it sounds like Quad did not communicate her feelings to the network in the most professional manner. That's what I'm hearing. I don't know if that's true or not. Mm-hmm. I don't know. All we have to do is wait and see if she comes back for another season and then what's going to happen in their reunion when it happens, you know? It's, mm-hmm. it's going to be a lot of things done and said mm-hmm. at their reunion for sure. For sure. For so, sure. I know that was the biggest thing because nobody wanted to share a room where Yeah. No, oh, okay. Hell no, but you know, I just don't know. I'm 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 looking forward to next week's episode to see what happens with the rest of this trip. You know, I hope they don't ruin it for Toya. Toya's doing a big thing. I'm excited to have the black female doing wine. So you know, I want her to get what she needs out of this trip instead of mm-hmm. these ladies messing. Messing up, and they're professional ladies at that. And what? Yes, hold on. Doctor Jackie is having a Zoom meeting with uh, Vice President of the United States Kamala, yes. which is so exciting. That is big. What yes. is she? What is? I like yes. that for her. I I really like. That. That's a big deal, and that's a big topic to talk about because it's mm-hmm. very drastic. Especially um, infant mortality. Black maternity. Is it basically if the if the women black women dying giving birth? Right. Okay. I yeah. know that's not the most proper way to say that, but she said it. But I think of the terms. But that's pretty much what it is. Oh, um, yeah. and that's a big deal. And I congratulations to Dr. Jackie Obama. I I can be doing her thing. I love it. I love that mm-hmm. about her. I like that she's on a platform where she's taking higher steps. Wonderful. Bravo. Every year. Bravo. Like what happened last year? Like, see, like I'm saying, I'm just getting into this. Yeah. So um, I like. And, uh, what else? Let's see. Like I'm attaching. Oh, go ahead. Phaedra. Okay. What are your thoughts on Phaedra this season so far? Um, she did bring up pizzazz within the first two episodes. What episode are we on? I can't remember off the top of my head. There was seven, I think. I, think I want to say the first oh, wait, seven. Four, four episodes. She bought a lot of pizzazz and spice. Now I feel like she's just starting to fizzle out a little bit. But I'm hoping within the next more episodes, she'll be back to her herself. I mean, I like her being mm-hmm. on the show. She brings a bit of fun in for the show, I guess. 
I would say she brought some fun to the show. I haven't really seen her doing much lately. Right, that's what I said. In the first few episodes, she was bringing that spice that possessed, but now she's leaned more to the background, and I don't know why that is. So, like I said, I'm going to I have issue with her not having personal story. Like, with everybody else on the cast, you see them solo scenes with their families, with you know, at work, all that kind of stuff. You don't see Phaedra doing nothing. Like, we, with the group. we saw the boutique. Barely. You know, barely, right. And then I think we did a glimpse of her kids at their soccer game. And I think we did see a clip of her with one of the boys. But see, these are very, like, short, two seconds. Right, we're, just we're not seeing no scenes. Right. It's, I don't know. What's in her contract? I don't know what she's allowing us to see. So I don't know. And we're definitely not. Well, I do know. That she's dating. For sure. I do know that um, Heavenly said that they wanted to talk to her about her time on Atlanta Housewives. But that Phaedra was like, absolutely not. And it went as far as to call the network to have that shut down. So what you mean by that? So, you know, like, whole time on a house wall for house me for candy, life. like, all that kind of stuff. Apollo. Right, so that. she does not want to rehash stuff that at all. And it went as far as to cause a network to have that shut down to where they cannot uh, Say talk to her about, about those things. Yeah, she's, you know, she really doesn't have a storyline. She's just, for me, a friend of, and that's just on the show. She's dating the doctor, but I feel she's just a friend of and just She's not. Is. I know she's not, but her, that's how... Her and that doctor... No, her and that doctor broke up before she even... Her first episode. What? That's what that's I said. Her, her and that doctor right. broke up. So she's just on the show? Yeah, pretty much. Collecting the bag. Do what you gotta do, well, sis. Ain't right, ain't Shit. I wish right. I could just pop up, go to dinner, and say, mm-hmm, and then and get a like, thousand for dollars. And that's it. <laughs> right. Let me do that. Just give me one time. One time. Just one, just one episode. It's all it takes. Just clear out the deck. Just a little bit. A little bit. But yeah, she doesn't have a storyline. She's just there, but. Hopefully, every if quiet is leaving after next week. Hopefully that opens the door and we'll see more from her and um, the friend of Dr. Alicia. Hopefully. I yes. Because why? Was it Hep, no? Toya or Hep Jaggy? One of them said Simone and Dr. Alicia favor each other. My God, enjoy it. Heavenly. Yeah. Well, somebody said I don't it. see I said, it. It's a distance thing. hmm Maybe. I don't know. Close up, no, they don't. But from a distance, they could probably favor each other just a little bit. That's what you know what you're about, right? <laughs> but yeah. Well, we are running out of time. Is there anything else you want to discuss before we wrap it up? No, I think that's all I have. Like I said, I got to catch up on my show. But that, I have nothing else. I, I don't have anything until she just arrives this week. I thought that this last part of the reunion was the last part more there's some more oh, i'm excited about that this sunday it's gonna be part four i'm like how many part now listen i like the show but i don't think we needed a four-part reunion i don't know I, we might have three kids please Girl, after this i don't think we can do it anymore no that's what i was about to say now if i watch this uh part four and they say, okay, next week on oh, Sister Right. I'm done. <laughs> I'm sick of Bob and Robin. My other girls have finished with it. Maybe one of them not. She's still holding on by three. And Cody, an asshole. So I'm sick. Just don't, y'all ladies, live your life. Just live, be free. Right. Well, on that note, we do have to go. So thank you all for listening and watching. We will be back next week. Yeah. And be sure to like, follow, subscribe, comment, download all of the positive things, and we will see y'all next time. Yes.
拜。